Okay, uh, good morning. Um, so, because we're having the, the snow day today, I'm going to record uh, the lecture. I'll post these uh, um, lectures to YouTube so you can watch them there. I'll break the lecture up into smaller videos so that you don't have to sit for, sit for the whole 50, 50 minutes of lecture. Um, again, you can, you can play these back at, on YouTube at you know, a faster rate, so they'll actually go faster. You, you have the option of pausing at any time to keep to catch up with your notes, and you can also show um, uh, turn on closed captioning. I'm sitting in my basement, and it's a little it's a little cool down here, uh, so that's why I've got the the cap and the sweater on. But at least I don't have to wear the face mask today. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. the 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 topic today is um, uh, Bodhi plots. Uh, so this is this is section 9.3, um, and my writing here is going to be a little sloppier even than than normal. Trying to write on the this electronic whiteboard, uh, but this Bodiplex technique allows us to quickly graph um, the magnitude response of, of a circuit in, in decibels or or dB. So first, let, let's let's talk about what a decibel is um, it's a measure of power it's actually a measure of power relative to a reference power um, a decibel actually stands for a tenth of a bell and the bell was a unit um, named in honor of Alexander Graham Bell um, but for a power gain of a circuit, so output power over input power, then uh, we out, output power over input power, um, then we define the gain in dB as 10 log of this linear power ratio. And this is the log base 10, so it's P0 over the output power over the input power. And so this would be uh, the power gain in, in units of, of decibels. Um, uh, since AC power is delivered to, uh, delivered to a resistor is proportional to the voltage squared, uh, for a voltage gain, so output voltage over input voltage. Notice here I'm taking the absolute value, so it doesn't matter if it's uh, the output's the negative or, or um, of the input. Uh, but for voltage gain, since again power is proportional to voltage squared, we could write V O squared over V I squared, um, but we can pull using the property of the logarithms, we can we can pull the square out of the argument and write this as 20 log of VO over VI. Um, and similarly for for other gains like uh, like the current gain we would use 20 log of that uh, ratio. So let me go over here on the on the right side of my board, and we'll talk about uh, some some typical um, ratios and their corresponding uh, gain in dB. So output voltage over input voltage, and then the corresponding gain value in dB here. So in, in general, uh, you know, if, if the ratio is is some power of ten then log of 10 to the n would be n and the gain in db would be 20 times n. Uh, so that means, so for example, 1000, which is 10 to the third, notice that there are three zeros here, then, then the gain in db would actually be 60 db if the voltage gain were 1000 for 100. So only two zeros, two times 20, uh, that's 40. For 10, 1, 0, that's a gain of 
20 dB. Notice we're, we're dropping uh, 20 dB as we go down by a factor of 10. So a factor of 10 is, is, is called a, a decade. Um, uh, for one, that is 0 dB. So if the output voltage has the same magnitude as the input voltage, uh, the gain is 1. In dB, that means that's a 0 dB gain. So 0 dB does not mean that there's no output. It means that the output amplitude is actually equal to uh, the input amplitude. Uh, similarly, um, if, if we actually continue to go down, 0 0.1 would be negative 20. Okay. So a negative dB gain doesn't mean uh, that the output is negative relative to the input. It actually means that the output is smaller in amplitude than the input. So negative 20 dB gain um, means that the output is amplitude is one tenth the input amplitude and then similarly 0 0.01 would be minus 40 dB uh, 0.001 would be um, uh, minus 60 dB or 10 to the minus n would be in general uh, minus 20 times capital N so some other common ones that that you'll run into is a factor of four is actually 12 dB. So verify this on your on your calculator. It's not exactly 12 dB, but it's a it's a really good approximation. So so take 20 log of four. You'll see that turns out to be very close to uh, 12 dB. Uh, two is uh, 6 dB, and then similarly one half or one over two turns out to be minus six and one quarter. One quarter, or point zero zero point two five, is minus twelve dB. So I'm going to stop the video at this point. I'll save this white whiteboard as well, and then uh, um, uh, there's another video yet to come.